From portion sizes to exclusives, we wanted to find out all the differences between KFC in the US, UK, Japan, and India. This is Food Wars. So at the KFC in Japan, you can order your chicken pieces in one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces, five piece bucket that comes with only leg pieces. In the UK, you can get buckets in three sizes. You can get a six piece, eight pieces, and the largest one of them all, a 10 piece leg bucket, 12 pieces. Or you can get a 14 piece. Or 16 piece bucket. Woo, that's a lot of chicken. In Japan, we have three drink sizes. So we have a small. In the US, our drinks come in medium. And this is what a large drink looks like. Here in India, we don't serve cups, we just serve cans. If you want, you can also get half a gallon bag of your favorite drink of choice. Look at this thing. Mm. It's, it's convenient. So the fries at the KFC in Japan come in three sizes. So this is small. Here's a regular fries. And <laughs> back again, the large. Then we got a box. Let us now measure the large to see how much you get. <laughs> you can do it. Now, of course, the US has a chicken sandwich. You can also get it spicy or classic. This is classic. They got this little guy, the chicken little. Look at this guy, huh? This little guy. Comes with pickles, mayo. So instead of a chicken sandwich, what we call ours is the chicken fillet burger. I think it's pretty much the same thing. It's like breaded and fried chicken between two buns with some lettuce and some mayonnaise. We also have something called the Zinger Burger, which is pretty much the same thing, but the spice level is amped up a little bit. You can also turn these burgers into a tower burger. What that does is adds cheese and a hash brown to the burger, which in my opinion, very worthwhile addition. Now we have special sandwiches. This one right here is called Japanese style chicken cut sandwich. So let's take a look inside. So it's got mayo, and it's got cabbage, and chicken cuts right there. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh, this sauce is like soy sauce based sauce, and it's a little bit sweet. And this mayo is also great with this sauce. This looks really small, but it has a huge amount of chicken. So if you eat this, you're gonna be full. And next one, we've got chicken fillet. Wow, this is also huge. All right, so this one right here is called Black Hot Sandwich. Ooh, look at this. It's like pepper mayo. I just tasted this pepper mayo, but it has a little like spiciness. Ooh, oh man, it's too strong. I wouldn't get it, be careful. All right, let's move on to chicken sandwiches. Here in India, we don't have an American chicken sandwich, but we have a zinger and a smaller sandwich called a crisper. Cute. The crisper looks like it wants to grow up and be a zinger someday. They also come in two variants, a spicy crisper and a tandoori zinger. Let's taste all of them. Oh, they're pretty yum. They've used a different kind of mayonnaise here. It has a bit of sweetness to it and a spicy kick at the end. And now for the legendary Zinger. Um, back in the day, there were only two fast food chains here in India. It was McDonald's and KFC. And while McDonald's had more affordable burger options, the KFC Zinger was so delicious, it was always a treat to eat. Mmm, and it still is. I love that they use a whole boneless piece of proper chicken in there. Delicious mayo, it's so delicious. Okay, now let's try the spicy variants. This is the spicy crisper. Look at this sauce. It's almost blood red. I'm excited. Oh my God. The sauce almost has a Shezwan taste to it. Next up, the zinger, but tandoori. Mmm, I love the fullness of the chicken that comes in these burgers versus, you know, like a minced chicken patty in other restaurants. There's so much bite to it. It's so juicy, tender. That all sounds amazing. Stop, you're going too fast. I have to say those sandwiches look 
delicious and I am jealous. All right, moving away from chicken, India's KFC actually has vegetarian alternatives for all our burgers. There is a vegetarian crisper, a vegetarian spicy crisper, and a vegetarian zinger. Now, while India has a majority population of non-vegetarians, around 70%, there is a huge vegetarian population, which is why a lot of fast food restaurants have to make sure they have a lot of vegetarian options on their menu to make it more approachable and acceptable for all people over here. There's also levels to vegetarianism over here. There are, I will eat egg, but not chicken vegetarians. There are, I will eat fish, but not lamb vegetarians. There are, I will eat the curry but not the pieces vegetarians. There are, I am vegetarian only on Tuesdays vegetarians. There are, I have made a promise to God for this one month vegetarians. There are, I am vegetarian so you will all be vegetarian vegetarians. They're the weird ones and we try not to talk about them. Which is why KFC in India brands itself as just KFC. There's no Kentucky Fried Chicken anywhere here because obviously I'm not going to go to a place that's named that if I'm one of these many types of vegetarians. KFC in America has extra crispy chicken. This is the best type of chicken. I mean, look at this. I don't know what they do to this, but the skin is practically falling off. It is so crispy and so delicious. I love extra crispy so much. So we also have deep pack. Mm. So it's got kernel crispy and some nuggets and boneless Kentucky and some original chicken. So this deep pack, it comes with this price. So if you wanna have a little bigger one, you can order deep barrel. I mean, it's double amount of this deep pack. So it's gonna be very big. So this one right here is called four piece red hot chicken box. And it comes with a pie and a fry. And a medium drink. And actually, we have other box options like four piece half hot and half original box and it comes with fries as well and six piece half hot and half original box it comes with fries again so in japan we have tori no hipak that means chicken day it's on every 28th of the month and two stands for ni and eight stands for wa and it becomes niwa and niwa is synonymous with niwatori. Niwatori means chicken. So that's why it's called chicken day. Okay, let's start with chicken. In India, apart from the crispy chicken, we also get smoky red chicken. Oof. Wow. I believe this is KFC's answer to tandoori chicken. If you guys don't know what a tandoor is, it's basically a cylindrical oven that they light up using wood fire or charcoal and it adds a really smoky flavor to the meats or breads that you cook inside of it. I doubt KFCs across the country have an actual tandoor but the flavoring definitely smells like that. The marinade looks like that. Oh my god, that's actually pretty good. You know what KFC? Pretty good job. You have to remember KFC is competing with a lot of Mughlai restaurants across every Indian city. And while this doesn't have as much of that smoky char that a lot of tandoori kebabs have, it has a lot of flavor and the chicken is quite juicy. Good job. It's super spicy though, so if you're somebody who can't handle spice, go a little easy on this one. When an Indian says something spicy, it's spicy. The pot pie that they have here, they're not kidding when they say pie and the pot pie. How thick this is. I gotta say the pot pie actually looks quite good. We love meat pies here in the UK. You'll often see people tucking into like a steak and kidney pie or a chicken pie, but yeah, they should probably put that on the menu over here. I think they'd cash in on the British market. Speaking of big dishes of stuff, the famous bowl. Once upon a time, a KFC employee was like, I could have put everything into one dish and call it a day. And ta-da, the famous bowl was born. This has to be like three pounds. Now, Joe, I'm glad you also think that the famous bowl doesn't look that great because to me, that looks like a nightmare. We currently have a Nashville hot chicken and hot tenders. I went ahead with the tenders. I've just been informed this was a big Tic Tac thing for a minute, something about biting it and crunching it. I don't know anything about that. I can say just by holding this, there's no way these are crispy. Well, it's not that spicy. That's kind of spicy. I do like this a lot. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. Ooh, that heat's catching up with me. Slow burn, slow build on the heat. All right, so here we've got two special twisters. 
So this one right here is called Pepper Mayonnaise Twister. Ooh, it looks great. Nine out of 10. KFC, thank you. Thank you for making me happy. So next we got, ooh, Teriyaki Twister. Should be great. It's kind of gross. <laughs> it's got mayo and Colonel Crispy, some veggies, and I hope this is teriyaki sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 It looks gross, but it tastes incredible. 10 out of 10. Congratulations. Oishi. It means delicious. Look how tiny those twisters are. I could eat like three of those easily. Easily. All right, so this one right here, it's called Colonel Crispy. Is it only in Japan? I cannot confirm the difference between a Colonel Crispy and a KFC chicken tender. They call their tenders Colonel Crispies, and we call our Colonel Crispies chicken tenders. There's a few other language differences, like instead of chicken tenders, we call ours chicken mini fillets. It's been a while since I ordered this one, but it still has crispy bits. Good job. Japanese KFC's technology, state of the art. One iconic dish that you'll find on the KFC India menu is biryani. And so KFC India has taken a very bold decision to launch their own biryanis. They come in four flavors. Number one, classic chicken, nice and crispy. Number two, popcorn chicken. Number three, the spicy red chicken that I really enjoyed. And number four, the veg patty, which it's so tempting to just push that to the side because veg biryani is already just a concept that we're not a fan of over here. But just for, just for now, you can, you can stay here. Okay, I'm gonna begin with the popcorn chicken biryani, which is just so blasphemous to begin with. Mmm. Mmm. It's not a biryani. It's, I'm so upset right now. This one, the spicy red chicken, has a bit of that tandoori vibe to it. They've really tried to overcompensate with the spices. There's a lot of clove flavor, just to convince you you're eating a biryani, so go easy on that curry. I could eat this, like if I was hungry, not a biryani though. Also to US KFC that you can't get in Japan are wings. You can get wings at the KFC in units of six, 12, 24, or 48. I believe the three wing flavors that I got here are standard buffalo, the honey barbecue, and if you're a total wuss, unsauced. What's wrong with you? Yeah, very sketchy. You can also get them in a limited time Nashville hot sauce. All right, so we have nuggets. We have three pieces, five pieces, and they come with only ketchup. Our biscuit, on the other hand, is just this Southern style, not exactly a scone, but kind of looks like one from a distance, dry cornmeal biscuit. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah. Here we've got KFC biscuit. It comes with honey maple KFC. Ah. This is good. The maple, it's a little bit sweet for me. Mac and cheese. I can't believe you guys do not have macaroni and cheese. Mwah. Love mac and cheese. Mashed potatoes and gravy. You don't have that in Japan? Guys, guys, demand this from your Japanese KFC. You want the mashed potatoes and gravy. Now we have a slightly different approach to sides in the UK compared to the US. For example, our corn comes on the cob, baked beans. These are slightly different to the regular beans that you might put on toast in the UK. Uh, they have kind of a barbecue sauce flavor to them. And now for the quickest sauce talk ever. Sauce talk. KFC sauce. Yeah, the KFC sauce is like a brown mustard mayo. Yeah, the sauce is good. There are a few sauces which are exclusive to the UK. For example, we have this spicy supercharger dip, which is kind of like a spicy mayo type thing. We have some sweet chili sauce, garlic mayonnaise, another really good option. Garlic mayo on chips. It's just fantastic. These three dipping sauces, 
So we've got barbecue sauce and mustard. And this pink one is called mentaiko mayo. Mentaiko means it's like spicy kodoro and it's very popular taste in Japan. This is actually great. I'll dip this. Mmm. It tastes fantastic. Winner! India does not have too many exclusive dips. In fact, we just have a veg eggless mayonnaise and a tandoori masala mayonnaise. It's time to taste. I'm using the same hand because here in India, we don't eat with our left hand. If you're wondering why, commenters, you let them know. <laughs> why don't Indians eat with their left hand? Well, it's just mayonnaise, so good job on that. Mayonnaise again, with a little bit of a sweet but also spicy kick to it. I wish we had more options, especially considering there are so many different delicious chicken options. I'd love to be able to dip my tenders in more sauces. That is a weird sentence. Dessert to the US KFC, you can get this. Chocolate chip cookie, recognize that guy? <laughs> It just looks just like this guy. And finally, a chocolate chip cake. Here in India, we have two exclusive desserts, a choco mud pie and a coffee mousse cake. Ooh boy. Just look at this cross section, my friend. Next up, coffee mousse cake. Yeah, um, these are pretty average as desserts. Fountain drinks. There's a few that we can get that you guys cannot over there in Japan. The first one is a beverage that I have yet to meet one human being who enjoys it. Of course, I'm talking about Sierra Mist. Maybe grossest soda ever. Oh, it's so bad. Another drink that you can get at KFC that you can't get at Japan, and here it is right here, Mountain Dew's great. When I was in college, I worked at a pizza place. I drank so much Mountain Dew, I threw up. And now I'm drinking Mountain Dew. Let's see if I can do it again. My favorite beverage, Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning. So good, so good. So here we've got Japanese exclusive drinks. This one right here is water. But it comes with this Assam tea pack. It's supposed to be hot, but it's cold. And next one, we've got coffee. This one right here is roasted rich coffee. Itadakimasu. It's a little bit bitter than that normal coffee. And here we got Earl Grey iced tea. It's not sweet at all. And next one is melon soda. It has bright green color. Horrible. It's too sweet. Here is ginger ale. Nothing special. And the last one, it's Nachan Refreshing Orange. Exclusive drinks in KFC India. We have Mirinda, which is an orange soda, and Red Bull. Let's talk about Mirinda. Uh, this is a drink that really evokes nostalgia. 90s kids really know what I'm talking about when I say Mirinda. The drinks are just normal, nothing special. But chickens are finger licking good. Now, usually we'd have even more exclusive menu items to show you, but unfortunately, UK KFC is currently operating with a reduced menu. Here's what you could normally find on the menu at a UK KFC a vegan burger, the Big Daddy burger, a range of chicken wraps, some rice boxes, onion rings, curry sauce. Crushums and a full range of hot drinks, including English breakfast tea. So let's talk about Christmas in Japan. So Christmas is one of the biggest events in Japan, even though about 1% of Japanese people are Christians, we just enjoy Christmas as just a fun event. And as for KFC for Christmas in Japan, back in 1970s, Japan KFC launched a hugely successful advertising campaign called Kentucky Niwa Christmas. That's Kentucky for Christmas. And with that strong marketing campaign, 
it became so popular to have KFC for Christmas in Japan. And now, about 3.6 million Japanese families eat KFC for Christmas. And talking about my personal experiences, yes, when I was young, I would eat KFC for Christmas with my family. But when you start dating, you know, Christmas makes a transformation from a family event to couples event. And I'm looking for the one who can enjoy KFC for Christmas with me. In the UK, a drum is 170 calories. So in Japan, one drumstick of or ooh. So in Japan, one drumstick of original chicken on average has 237 calories. Chicken's looking a little limp there, George. In the US, one stiff drumstick of original recipe is 130 calories. But according to KFC's US site, that's for a 53 gram piece. Now, adjusting for the 87 gram piece, like that of Japan, the calories go up to 210. Does that make sense? Great. Now, take this bad boy and make him extra crispy, and you got 270 calories. It's too many calories. Mmm. Not enough calories, if you ask me. But finger licking good. I think KFC got to George. He keeps dropping that slogan. Are they paying George? I think, I think George is getting some money on the side from KFC. Oh my God, if George turns out to be Colonel Sanders, I will lose my mind. We should also point out that the KFC India website is in major need of an update. There is an FAQ page where people have asked things like, how many calories does this chicken have? Or, sometimes I see red deposits in my chicken. What is it? And for almost all of these questions, the answers are just filler text. So if you ask me what those red deposits are, I genuinely don't know. Unfortunately, KFC in the UK doesn't disclose its ingredients. In the US, our original recipe chicken ingredients are, first with the fresh chicken, it is marinated with salt, sodium phosphate, and moto sodium glutamate. Onto the breading, it's breaded with salt, wheat flour, salt, tricalcium phosphate, maltodextrin, triglycerides, natural flavor, Colonel's Secret Original Recipe Seasoning. So KFC in Japan doesn't disclose their ingredients. So we emailed their customer support and this is what they told us. Unfortunately, KFC does not share a full list of ingredients with the public. So what do we know about KFC? Well, the KFC India website has a couple of clues. We know that all of our chicken is farmed here and not imported, and all of it is 100% whole muscle chicken. Mmm! That means it's made from whole pieces of chicken and not cut together minced chicken like you find in chicken nuggets. In fact, the website says they have an open kitchen policy, and what that means is anybody can walk into a KFC and apparently ask for a kitchen tour, and you can go into the kitchen, look at everything, and ask as many questions as you want. Indian chicken farmers were previously criticized for overusing antibiotics. As recently as 2018, the Bureau of Investigative Journalism found out that a lot of Indian farmers were feeding cholestine to their chickens as a growth promoter without any medical supervision. Cholestine is known as the antibiotic of the last resort. Holy f Oh my god, bro. That's so frightening. And it's only given to humans when other antibiotics have failed. So, if we give our chickens cholestine, then the humans who consume it might become resistant to it. In fact, they can develop an antibiotic resistance superbug. And that's not good. Yuli, this sounds like the plot to a horror movie. What is he talking about? That is terrifying. I'm gonna assume we don't do that here, and if we do, oh god. But when a report came out talking about the ill effects of cholestin, India ended up banning it completely, so we're safe from cholestin at last. I kind of look like Colonel Sanders, right? Look at this guy. I'm a younger Colonel Sanders. KFC is doing any sort of The Adventures of Young Colonel Sanders ad campaign. Is this a face that could sell chicken?